Beautiful Las Vegas. Welcome to the Eddie You Show. It's the Eddie You Show. Whoa, whoa. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Eddie Fuse Show. I'm your host, Eddie Fuse, and our guest today is Billy Jack. What's up, man? What's going down with it, Fuse? <laughs> How you man. doing, man? Beautiful to be here. Long overdue, bro. Long overdue. You've been working, man. I've Thank been you. watching you. You've been working, man. How's Thank life you. been treating you, Billy? Life has uh, been a blessing. Mm -hmm. You know, it, you definitely got to know how to juggle because there's a lot going on. But, yeah. you know, I think... I thank God for that because I get my guidance from uh, God. Absolutely. And let's let the audience know um, where you're from originally. Yeah, so I'm originally from Salt Lake City, Utah. Okay. Uh, Mormon capital of the world. Okay, okay. I could dig that. That's something different. That's something to be proud about. Yeah, yeah. quite the dichotomy from Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the good and the evil, huh? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Definitely yeah. is. Definitely is. So um, how long have you been doing music? So I've been doing music professionally seven years. Mm hmm um, I guess I would say I've been a a fan of music and, and dabbled in it for about 15. Wow. Okay. But I really didn't take it serious. Um, my best friend died. My brother was murdered. That was the main cause of me doing music. And it wasn't music. It was poetry. So it kind of came from a, a, a different place with you. Yeah. It wasn't like you was just walking up the street with a boombox and was like, yo, I'm going to be a rapper today. No. Nah. It, start, it stinged from something. Yeah, I originally did poetry, and I did poetry to escape the negative uh, trials and tribulations that I was receiving in my life, and I didn't know how to deal with. Didn't want to turn to like drugs, alcohol, and you know violence, which I've done all those too. But we all have a past. We all have. We all have had about our dark places we've been in. You yeah, know what I mean, fair enough. Nobody's perfect. No, nah, nobody's perfect. Nah, but you know, I just, uh, I just started sharing my poems with people and going to open mics. And this is Utah, so this is a totally different market than Vegas. And yeah. uh, my grandparents who were raising me at the time, they moved to Vegas and uh, I came out about a year later to take care of them because they had some health issues. I felt like it was my turn to pay back for, the, for them raising me and my sister. Yeah. So that's what I did. I came out here and uh, started sharing my poetry at open mics. And then people were like, oh, you go, why don't you like get some tracks yeah, behind when I, you. When man. I heard you, when I heard you, I said it. I was like, "Yo, you're sick. Like you're sick." Man, I still remember first meeting you, and that was <laughs> what was that? Uh, Luna? Yeah, it was a Luna Lounge. Yeah, Luna Lounge, was like five years ago. Mm -hmm. It was Christmas time. We were doing a Toys for Tots, and yeah, you had on the blue suit, man. Man, the blue suit. I remember that like yesterday, man. Yeah, we were doing uh, Next Best Bartender at that time. That was supposed to supposed to be a big reality show that was gonna hit, but. For whatever reason, funding got cut and didn't come out. But it was good. I met you from that yeah, situation. I mean, yeah, that was so. a great situation. I was actually uh, doing a lot of uh, promoting and hosting over there for that for that venue at that time when we put, when we bumped into each other. Mm -hmm. But since we were talking about music, I want to talk about some of the newer things that you're doing right now. Some of the big things. I see that Floyd Mayweather just had a big money fight. Yeah. And you got a record called Fifty and Up. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Okay, so I work for. Uh, a company called Leafly, we're a cannabis advertising agency. Mm -hmm. I was inside of the dispensary, uh, Silver Sage. While I was there, I saw Floyd Sr. Wow. He was there with uh, with some friends and of the family, and and I was there with the owner of Vegas Cannabis Magazine. He's a friend of mine, and uh, we approached him. We just said, "Hey, look, you know, your your son's doing the biggest fight of ever mm -hmm. <laughs> of of history, right. and uh, we'd love to feature." your son on the, on the cover of the magazine and he said yeah let's do it so we went back and forth and talked a little bit I brought him through uh, one of my studios that I work at we did a photo shoot and had him wear you know some of our gear but uh, his attorney said yeah you know Mayweather himself is not going to be able to uh, to do anything like that until after the fight because we don't want any you know kind of situation misconstrued as cannabis you know so yeah so we uh we did the photo shoot with senior and from that i uh i met some of 
uh, Floyd's family and friends. And it was interesting, man. We just became friends. Um, crazy thing. Uh, Floyd has, has, you know, his little crew that rolls with him, even senior. Yeah. He does his, his like, immediate. Uh -huh. And they came. And now we are like this. Actually, her husband is uh, going to be doing all the music for, for my... Um, He's going to be doing all the live music for, for my shows. Wow, that's incredible. That's yeah. really incredible, man. How does it feel to know that you you came all the way from Utah to Las Vegas, you made the right connections and the right the right networking, you know what I'm saying? So that yeah. means that you you actually are achieving what you're trying to achieve. So does it feel good to, you know, be successful? It feels amazing to uh to overcome adversity that I came from and to to I wouldn't say see we all have a different definition of success and I'm still I still want to reach that in my own personal goals, but I will say that I'm, I feel like I've set goals and I've reached them, um, and I just keep, keep climbing and keep, keep doing my best to stay motivated and, and treat everybody right. That's the bottom line. Like absolutely, so many people burn bridges over stupid, silly shit. And it's like you fucked up an opportunity that three months down the road you reap what you sow. It's real. Absolutely, man. Now, um, we'll get a little bit personal. Okay. See that you are a new dad recently? Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, that, that kid is like so beautiful, man. How does it feel to be a new, a new father? Man, it's, it's the most incredible feeling in the world. Um, especially my father was never there. And that was something that to me, I felt like that was just how it was. Like, pops ain't there, mom ain't there, you know. It's just, it is what it is. I was raised by my grandparents, my, my stepbrother. He was uh, in foster care and just, you know, it was, it was like, why wouldn't my dad want to be a part of my life? Because this is the most beautiful and amazing experience I've ever had because I feel like it is literally an extension of me. And you can actually see you in the baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the... Everyone's like, oh my God, it's a little Billy. Look at this. <laughs> if he ain't raps, it's little Billy. It's just letting y'all know. Little Billy. But it's beautiful because my goals are so big, I can't be accomplished in this lifetime. Mm -hmm. So that I can pass that on to him. Mm -hmm. I can pass my knowledge. That's the other thing. Growing up, I was raised by my grandparents. I didn't know about sh I didn't learn about shit. Like, I'm very grateful to them that they brought me in and, and cared for me, but they didn't teach me the things that I'm going to teach my son. School doesn't teach you credit. School doesn't teach you about FICA scores. School doesn't teach you how to network right. and be an entrepreneur because school is training for to, to work a nine to five. Right. That's why they have bells. Mm -hmm. That's why they, it's all programming. So Absolutely. to have that kind of knowledge and to have this, this um, consciousness of awakeness that we're dealing with in this time right now with everything happening in society it's beautiful because I get to share that with my son. Yeah, that's a, that's a beautiful thing. Now, with you being a parent and also being able to work as hard as you work, you understand what grind means because you're okay. grinding all day with your kid and you're out here grinding a job and you're trying to grind music the same way. Some people say that if you have a job and you're doing all these different things, you can't really get as far as you want in the music. What is your intake on that? I mean, I'm very blessed to have my girl and her mother have been gracious enough to to watch Orion and, and help take care of him so that I can uh, pursue this dream that's going to set up our family for the rest of our lives. Yeah. And it's just about balance. It's just about knowing how to use your time effectively. A lot of times that I spent in studios and like events in the past, I would just get super fucked up and bullshit. Now it's like, I got to focus. This is the song we're doing. This is you know, the verse got to get done, and when I'm done with the verse, I'm out while the engineer's mixing. I'm going to do some other shit. Yep. That's the way the grind goes, man, when you're really serious about it. Uh, yeah. You brought me some music in today, man. Some yeah. exclusives. Yes. I'm going to jump into one of these records, man. Which one you want, you want the people here first? So, uh, let's go ahead, and uh, there's a producer out there named Kato. Kato. And uh, and he ran a contest, and this was my, my entry for his contest. Word. I got some underground bars type shit. Shout out to Kato. So I know the city like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, back in the rap shit. Billy Jack in this What up, Kato? Yeah. 
Bitch, smack you rappers for acting backwards. You rappers wearing fabrics, a fad to get established. It's sad, it's so tragic. Rap is not classic. You in the Bentley coupe, weaving through traffic. Should've saved your money and collected all the masters. Own your music before your music on your asses. Make sure that you're publishing right and work your magic. Make sure that you're hustling right and hit the masses. Burn them seas, I'm DJ matches. And keep it underground, throw gasoline on caskets. Burn them seas, I'm DJ matches. And keep it underground, throw gasoline on caskets. My flow part of this soul, this shit is instrumental. Gotta keep up with the beat like this instrumental. Keep ten toes on the street, life within the ghetto. Y'all a puppet on some strings like the pedal. Like your pedal, like your pedal. Got a puppet on some strings like Geppetto Like Geppetto, yeah. like Geppetto Got a puppet on some strings like Geppetto I tear down bars, I'm breaking out of prison Incredible hope, don't belong in the system Cold as Chicago, old school like Pippin Tie your shoes, bitch you trippin' Old transmission, I can see that you slippin' I'm ahead of my tire, got 2020 vision Your girl, she a bird, pecking like a pigeon Get on her knee, look up, no religion Um, I think that you're the vagina type Pussy, you try to push me and I'll push you back But I ain't pushing nothing all up on the cushion pad I'm pushing the button that'll push your whole button back Reset your mumble rap to say something back Billy Jack and I'm back, ready to rap Ready to attack anybody who said my flow was whack Ready to rap, ready to attack anybody who was whack Ready to get you back, you said you want a strap Oh, running through the city and I see you got a strap though I'm with the Raiders, motherfucker, got the black hole And we ain't tripping off of nothing cause we that cold And got intelligence for past yeah. like that cold Jumbling, stumbling over your words, mumbling, you fumbling Oh, that's how that shit got started? I'm so done with them Mental manipulated movement throughout the media Making people Dumb, stupid, lazy, I ain't greedy, I. How did this happen? How did the masses get distracted? We traded in love for hip hop fashion. Forget about communication, love and passion. We traded human contact for Facebook captions. I'm slipping on that one, I'm flipping 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 on that one. Hey, 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 wait, hold up, hold up. What the fuck is this shit, man? I'm gonna flip it and know what the fuck. What the fuck you saying? So what's some that. of the people that inspired that sound that you have, man? Uh, a lot of underground, actually. Underground. East Coast Underground, Apathy, Self Title, Immortal Technique, uh, Kendrick. Lil Kendrick. Lil Kendrick. That's but cool. but more like the the straight underground scene that really doesn't get a whole lot of love. Yeah. You know, I went to Beauty Bar. Uh, Apathy was playing at Beauty Bar. There was only like 100 people that showed up. So it's like people are really brainwashed sheep they only want what someone else tells them is dope mm -hmm. instead of being like you know what this is dope to me so i'm gonna fuck with it they don't do that so i've always loved the underground scene but i i i just did that for for kato because he had that kind of track in it man it's crazy every song is a different picture and you don't know what that picture is going to be until you painted it you, know, you have a vision but it doesn't always translate so yeah that's just my my underground shit, you know, bar game. Bar game, definitely, man. I gotta definitely give you some respect, man, for real, Billy, man. Like, we ain't got no record yet, man. Why we ain't got no music yet, man? That's a, we gotta get some music together, man. Let's change that. Let's change that we ASAP. Make that change ASAP, man, for real. You brought another joint in called Somebody. Yeah. What's up with Somebody? Like, when? Who helped you do this? Who produced this joint? All right. So uh, I work out of uh, Skyfall Studios. Uh, Be genius. He is the uh, the producer behind this record. 
we actually did crazy thing. My girl's on this record with me too. If, if you guys dope. don't know, she's a, a beautiful, amazing singer, uh, independent artist herself, and and she's even sometimes neglected and overlooked because she's staying with the kid, and I'm going so hard. Yeah. So a lot of respect and love Gotta for her. Appreciation. For and real. she needs to know this coming back, and the. the I'm building this platform for us, and she's going to have her, her time to shine, too. No doubt, no doubt. Well, let's jump into this record right now, live on the Eddie Fuse show, Billy Jack exclusive, Somebody. Genius! Somebody, somebody It's going to lose tonight And fillets, Gucci, Louis, Prada, Versace, Bulgari, Finney. I don't even wear designer no more. Timmy, 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 I hit you from the corner, but still it's a murder story I'm here to pay respect for the ones who was here before me Planted the seed, but you can't see the trees for the forest Now I'm plotting on your death, call the corner and the floors Know about your relatives, your mother can't afford it You might think I'm possessed cause my voice is out of story Or somebody about to lose tonight while I record it Somebody, somebody Is gonna lose tonight Feeding you GMOs, I'm more organic It's like an alien ship, you feel the force landing This new sound of rap, turn men into women Strutting around in dinner, high heels, purses, and fillets Gucci, Louis, Prada, Versace, Bulgari, Finney I don't even wear designer no more Timmy, 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 Timmy,
Thank you. Yo, why don't you really give the people your social media so they know where to follow you at, man? Yeah, so my social media is at Billy Jack Music for everything. For everything. I got tired of like five star entertainment for Instagram and Billy Jack Hewitt for Facebook. It's like, fuck it, man. It's Billy Jack Music for everything. No doubt. Thank you for coming into the Eddie Fuse show. Blessing. Looking forward to seeing you here again. Beautiful Las Vegas. Welcome to the Eddie Fuse show. It's the Eddie Fuse show. Whoa, whoa. Look, we got another exclusive from my man Billy Jack. Go ahead. Thanks everybody for tuning in to the Eddie Fuse Show. I am Billy Jack Hewitt, and this is Let Me Be. Let these things change me. Exclusive. Exclusive. Leave me alone and just let me be. Nobody else heard this. Nobody. It's not even done being mixed. Exclusive. Just a baby, maybe two or three, ain't it crazy, life's a blessing, from what I understand, my mama, she was on it, pills, coke, meth, heroin, and the chronic, I grew up in the streets, nobody really raised me, grandparents threw me up, I see how that changed me, made me a better man, used to be so angry, kicked down all the doors, I dare you to blame me, started smoking hella trees, that just made me lazy, till I popped a pill or two, then I felt like Jay-Z, uh, this feeling was invincible Walking through the hallway saying fuck you to my principal Counselor couldn't help me out, she knew I was lost Praying for forgiveness like Christ on the cross I was more than just depressed, my brother killed himself So I know what it's like to feel stress, pain, and hell Damn. Try not to let these things change me Do it to the doom and set me free Praying to the one who sent me here to take me 